So I'm fascinated to know what personally has made you so passionate about this mm. whole area of communication. I actually, going through my school life, had phonic dys dyslexia. I don't know if you've come across that, but it's the way you can't see the sounds of the letters, so you don't pronounce them terribly well. Um, it makes reading very slow. So it was assumed, of course, I wasn't understanding things, and I was put into remedial classes, when actually I did want to learn, and I was very, you know, I, I had a lot to say. So I think that was my natural ability to want to listen to people with dementia, feeling that actually they were often banished and left out in the cold when actually they are giving us clues and they are wanting to make, say something, express themselves and we aren't always listening. So naturally I think I had that empathy. Um, and then one day one of my colleagues said, you do, that, you do that so brilliantly, what is it you're doing? And I said, well, being normal, being kind. Um, and then she gave me a book um, by Noemi File of the validation approach and um, was just fascinated and thought, well, this is what I do. This, this is the framework for training. Um, and I'd already met Tom Kitwood and was looking at his person-centred work and the two combined together were, were, was a perfect match. And because of my experiences, I felt so compelled to make something. So this is where we created the film. You've whetted our appetite for this in such a novel way. How does someone go deeper? Well, we have put together a four-day training programme. They're two separate blocks, so you've got plenty of time in between to sort of um, explore, look at the characters you've got in your own work life, bring them back to the workshop. We do role play, case studies, real scenarios that you have to face with every single day. Um, and you can use it in every setting, domiciliary care, NHS hospitals, and certainly residential care. We want more conversation, therapeutic conversation, breaking through dementia together.